morgen past 8 in de morning en welkom back to the channel. Welkom hier aan Rose Harbor. Let me cross the creek. Pretty much on the southern tip of Haida Gwaii. I am in a very very remote place. There is nothing here. Everything that is on this island has to be brought here by boat. It is so nice and quiet here. You can just hear the birds. I think today I'm heading back up north, back towards uh, Sandspit and um, making some stops on the way. I think so. It's just another <laughs> really, really beautiful day. So I'm very excited about today. I mean, look at this morning view. It's incredible, right? So I'm now kind of in the middle of the forest, just behind Rose Harbor. And there's something really cool laying in the forest here, which I want to show you. So if you look here, you can see this tree was cut. And this is the part that came down. And you can see, maybe I can get a better angle, that the Haida people came here and tried to turn this in a, into a canoe. So you can see it from here. They started to take out the middle and start building the canoe. So obviously it's much smarter to build the canoe right here than first drag the entire log out to the beach and then start cutting the canoe there. So they tried to of course make it as light as possible and easier to transport it out of the woods. But for some reason that obviously we don't know, the canoe project was abandoned so maybe they encountered a knot or some bad wood or I of course don't know what the reason is but they stopped working on it and just left it here but you can get a bit of a feel for the sheer size of this what would have been a full-sized canoe amazing right and now it's completely overgrown with moss to Rose Harbor now and uh, get back on the Zodiac on the boat. I always find it so incredible to realize that some of the trees like the cedar trees they can be 300, 400, 500 years old. For example here this tree has fallen over and just the size of the root system it's incredible right? Here's another one, but that's not a that's not a cedar, I don't think. See, there's another beautiful tall cedar tree. And usually these trees they use nurse logs, so when an old tree falls down, then new trees use that as a base to grow on and to take nutrients from. So that's why often you can also see that the trees, the cedar trees, they're all standing in a row and often that's because on that line a big tree fell down and the new tree started growing on it. It's incredible when you see stuff like that, right? I, I feel like I'm lost though. Where did I come from now? Everything looks the same. Did I come through here? Yeah, this is not the way I came, but I'm sure now from the coast I'll be able to find my way back. I can't really get lost if you follow the coastline. We step in the middle because it's, uh, it's a little bit uh, rocky. Okay.
So we've been going around the islands the entire morning and now we've come ashore here and we're gonna have a lunch. So let's see what is for lunch today. We got hummus, uh, like a uh, quinoa salad, a quinoa. veggie pate, and then uh, fresh sourdough focaccia. Wow, it looks delicious. Not a bad view for this lunch, eh? I'll put my hand for scale. So it's pretty much, yeah, the print's pretty much the same size as my hand. And then there's the next one. How awesome. All right, it is treasure hunting time. Of course, you shouldn't take anything from these islands, but look at the stuff that I found. I found this, which I don't know, to me it looks like an eagle skull. And then this one, no idea what this is. See, this is how it looks like. Anyone have any guesses? And then this one. So I'm gonna ask uh, Jamie what he thinks it is. Oh, and there's like these uh, abalone shells everywhere. Look how pretty they are. See, huge, hey? See, there's abalone shells everywhere, there's there. Here's another one. See? It's so beautiful on the inside. Oh, there's tons. Look, there's another big one. I need your expert opinion. I found some good treasures. Okay. It's like an eagle. Whoa, that's amazing. That looks totally like an eagle skull. Yeah, right? <laughs> and then. I got this one. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Oh, that looks kind of like. Is that teeth? And this one. Part of the body, maybe? This must be part of the whole, like part of the eagle. Yeah. Found them all very close to each other. I'm just trying to think of a chicken. What would a chicken have? That Huh, well that's really neat. Cool, right? Yeah. Look how purple it is, amazing, all the different colors. So this is the red spine urchin. See, it move, it's moving, see? Wow, so beautiful. It's beautiful. Here you go, buddy. It, it also looks a bit like a snail for some reason. Oh, it's moving. Oh, where are you going, buddy? It's getting longer and thinner. Yeah. Oh, oh. It's gone. Oh, no. It shouldn't 
come as a surprise any longer that also in this area there are hot springs so I am now on Hot Springs Island and there's several hot springs around and apparently there is one around the other side on a cliff so I'm gonna try to find that one the view here is just <laughs> incredible right look at this view it's amazing I'm walking in gum boots <laughs> That explains the, the squeaky sound. It's somewhere here. Oh, this is a very nice, nice temperature. Life on Haida Gwaii is pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Check out the view here from the other side of the hot spring. See, so now I'm here in the hot springs. And this is the view. There's another, some people came with a boat over there. But otherwise, there's just nobody here. How amazing. So tonight I am staying on this amazing floating lodge. It is incredible. This is the view from the lodge. And then you can go all around here. And this water is just full of jellyfish. Let me show you some. What a place, right? So this is my last night and then tomorrow we're heading back to Sandspit and then I'll have to take the ferry again across to the other island and then take the big ferry back to mainland Canada. But uh, I think I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight here. So we'll start at this end. This is um, Macaulay. It's a cauliflower tossed in a pomegranate molasses. Uh, Mahamara, which is a nut and chili dip with red peppers. Falafel with a terator sauce, which is tahini based. Uh, hummus, it's just your plain hummus. Uh, halloumi, grilled cheese mm -hmm. uh, with tomato, mint, and nigella seeds, which is onion. Uh, cucumber and mint slaw uh, with tomato, uh, mint, lemon, garlic, uh, pita. Uh, hummus with uh, toasted almonds in it. Uh, Shishtuuk, which is a yogurt marinated chicken. Uh, hashwi, which is ground lamb and toasted pine nuts. Uh, tajin, which is a caramelized onion dip uh, with tahini. And then patata hara. Thanks, Bye. Guys. Thanks so much. Bye, Davey. Be in touch. And it'll be about an hour or so to get to Windy Bay if the, if the seas are calm and a little more if, uh, if it's lumpy. Good chance of keeping it going. 
Are you always on Watchmen on this side, or you also go to some of the other places? I've been to all the other places, eh? but I like it here. What, why? Why do you like it here specifically? Because I heard there's gogits. <laughs> there's what? Gogits. And that's what, what you would call. Uh, like uh, what do they call the other? Other than Haida, uh, like a big hairy creature that walks like a man. Like a yeti type. Yeti. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. So they're known across the continent. Yeah. And uh, I hear there's Gogeet Point, there's Gogeet Passage, Gogeet Sightings here. So I I choose to stay here because I want to see a Gogeet. Have you seen one? But not yet. Never seen. Never one. seen one. Are there bears on this island? There are, there are bear on this island. Yeah. Do they come here or they stay away usually? No, they come here because th this is a river and uh, right. Oh, the salmon. And the salmon will be going up this river, and they're trickling in now. Ah, okay. Not oh, yeah, this year is a pink salmon. Pink salmon run. So pink bears salmon. will be coming, eagles will be coming, and, and uh, everybody be feasting. Yeah. yeah. Now I am in a quite a special spot because here they made a new pole, which was the first new pole made in hundreds of years and I'll try and explain a little bit there is a lot of significance and meaning uh, on this pole but I'll try to point out the main things you'll see an eagle right sitting there at the top that's because the chief of this village was from the eagle clan then below it there's what's called a wasco and a wasco is a supernatural being there are over 500 supernatural beings in Haida culture but I guess the wasco is one of the main ones and the wasco is half killer whale, half sea wolf and then over here you see the raven and then down here you see a grizzly bear with a fish down in the bottom and so right now there are no grizzlies in Haida Gwaii but there are so many stories and legends uh, in Haida culture that talk about grizzlies so the grizzlies were here and at some point they, they got extinct on the island and then you see those five men over there and those five men represent the protests that were going on in 1985 I think it was because back then in Lyle Island they were doing a lot of logging and they were destroying the old growth forest so the Haida people demonstrated against it and um, eventually after two years and going to court and all of it courts ruled in favor of the Haida so the logging was stopped there so that was of course a very important moment for the people here so when this pole was being lifted it took 300 people to lift the pole and according to Haida culture there was a potlatch after that uh, I think I mentioned the potlatch in the previous video as well so that means there was a lot of food there was a feast there was singing dancing and gifts were being given to the people that were in the potlatch um, now trying to get to the other side here the tide is low luckily so I can walk across So right now all of this is part of Guayahanes, which is the name of the national park. So only Rose Harbor, where I was uh, before, that's the only privately owned piece. And all of the rest is all part, uh, part of Guayahanes. So the main problem right now is the deer problem. As I explained before, that eats all the undergrowth and all the berries and yeah, that causes all this moss to grow everywhere and they've tried to eradicate some deer from one island but the deer they swim, they're very strong swimmers so it's extremely hard to to get rid of the deer um, you think oh, maybe you could just release some wolves <laughs> solving one problem by introducing another species usually doesn't work either so it's another example of how introducing species that are not endemic to the place can be a huge disaster you're welcome to, uh, to hop in and, uh, yeah. oh. all right that is it goodbye Haida Gwaii I am leaving I'm going to take the ferry now 
Uh, it leaves at 10 o'clock a.m. So on the way back it means I'll be the whole day on the ferry. And then uh, 5 p.m. I'll be back in Prince Rupert. And then I'll ride... It's probably about two hours. Um, I've booked another Airbnb. A little cabin. So it should be nice. But let's first get to the ferry. It's very quiet this time around. Like this? Here? Yeah. yeah. Woohoo! And I am back in Prince Rupert. I edited one and a half video and wrote one blog, so it's not bad for a little multitasking. I'm going to ride to my Airbnb. I'm going to end this video now because I'll be uh, well backtracking anyway where I already came from. So I'm not going to be able to see anything I haven't seen yet. That was it for today. I am back on mainland Canada. What an experience. Haida Gwaii really is something else. So if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.